In this session, we're going to take a look at turning a standard or typical sports design into a pretty off-the-wall fashion style design with an edgy look to it. And we're going to use brushes to do that, and we're going to do that in a matter of minutes. And we're going to create some really nice effects with this design, working with the brushes or some nice elements to go along with. One of the really strong benefits of working with brushes is you're able to sculpt your art around your design. So you're not dealing with static art. You're dealing with an art that can be sculpted into the design you're working with, and it's very easy to work with. For this design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working out the shape of the shield that we've got here in the background. I'll actually go to my contour tool for that. And I'll just bring a contour here around the outside. Go ahead and right click on that contour and select Break Contour Group Apart. Go to my Shape tool. Come up here to this node at the top, right click and select Break Apart. Same thing over here, right click and select Break Apart. And then I'll do the same thing down here at the bottom, right click. Select Break Apart down here. I've got a couple of extra nodes. I can see those handles. I'll delete those. Right click and select Break Apart. Come up here, right click, give that a black outline. Go to my Pick Tool. Click on this. Right click and I want to select Break Curve Apart. Click off. Make sure I've got the right object here. There we go. Break Curve Apart. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and delete this. Now what I want to do is I want to put a nice barbed wire effect going around the outside of the design here. And to do that all I'm going to do is simply go to my artistic media tool, come over here to my folders and I'll go to my barbed wire brushes. Now I got a whole bunch of barbed wire brushes in here because you need different sizes and different looks for different designs. But I'm going to go with, take a look at this particular barbed wire here, the second one down here and see how that looks. That's close, but not quite what I'm looking for. That one, neither, not really. That, actually, this one could work. I like the way this one's kind of set up here, but we'll take a look at some other ones here. That's a different look there. And it really depends on what you've got going on in your design. And actually, I kind of like this one here. This looks like it's got two sets of barbed wire in it. Let me pull this out here and take a look. It's actually got a couple of different pieces going through it. I actually like that one. I'm going to hit Control Z. We'll take that back there, and I'm going to bring this down in size just a little bit and see how that looks as we go smaller in size. Actually, I'm going to go up in size with that. That's close, but I'm going to go ahead and look at a couple of other ones here. That one's a little bit too big. I'm not really able to make out the barbed wire behind the design here. And what about this one here? This one I like. Um, I can make out the barbs and there's some highlighting in that. I like that. If I come down to this one, what do we get here? We've got to click on here. Really different look there. I actually, I kind of like that one. That looks good. It's nice and tight. There's a lot of barbs in there. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bring that down in size just a little bit. So it's just about right there. Now, once I've got this set up, as barbed wire this way. If I want to, I can tweak this. And actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and double click here. And I'll bring some of this barbed wire right up into here. Bring that end right into there and tweak the shape of that. You can see that flowing right down around the design. I'll do the same thing down here and tweak this this way. Now, we've got a lot of barbs in here and stuff. It looks good. You can really make out the fact that this is barbed wire. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and actually bring some more barbed wire into this design now that I've created that shape. So I'm going to go ahead and get my artistic media tool, and I'm just going to come right off of here, and I'm just going to bring some more barbed wire down through here and play off the fact that this barbed wire is in here. You can see I just did that. I just went through design. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, start here, go in here, back in this way and have this kind of wrap or warp around with the current look of the design. And I'm going to go ahead and click off on this and get to my nodes here. Get my pick tool and tweak this just a bit. Double click that. So I get back to my nodes. There we go. Now we're on our nodes. And I want to bring this over here just a bit and flow that in correctly there. And I want to select this node that's over here that I can see and lasso, bring that up that way just a bit and just follow the flow of the design with the barbed wire. And I might want to bring this up here just for a bit more detail and flow that that way and bring this up here 
And actually, I could bring this all right to the outside. And actually, I think I'll do that just like that. Bring this right around the outside a little bit and change that shape there. And I've got this note here. I'm going to bring this over here and change that shape that way. And just tweak this just a little bit. Grab this node that's here. Balance that out. And now we've got a nice effect going on with our barbed wires intermingled going around going around the outside of the design. Now, looking at this, I could probably tweak this in just a little bit there. I actually probably want to bring this over to this side a little bit. Make sure I get the node here. Pull that over kind of like that and then that's where it'll come in that way and then bring this over this way go ahead and click on this other barbed wire bring that down there and kind of center that up just a bit so that these two flow together just like that now I've got two pieces of barbed wire here and I'll go ahead and right click on this and select order to back of page I don't want to send it to another layer that'll be just fine what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create some white outline around this because I'm going to start working off some darks and stuff. But I'll take these two, hold down shift and click this other one. Go ahead and group these even though they're brushes. They'll be grouped. They'll be just fine. I'll go ahead and copy these. And what I want to do is put a pen outline on this of white and then paste back in on top. So I'll come back here. We'll go with an eight point outline behind fill, scale with image. Line corners and end caps. Now I'm going to go ahead and ungroup all and see what the issue is with my lines here. And every once in a while with these bugs, you hit bugs or things you weren't expecting. There's probably brushes on top of brushes in this particular brush. So I'm just going to go fill with white, outline with white, and select this other one here. Same thing. Fill with white, outline with white, behind fill, scale with image is all set. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and paste back in my black. Now I know I've got my other objects here, so I'm just going to hold down Shift and Alt. Click one time, two times, and I should have everything in there, including the white. Control Z. I'm going to go ahead and group. And yes, I got my white for both of the setups. No, I'm missing one there. I click here, hold down Alt, go back one. I'm missing the white here on the second barbed wire. The second barbed wire is right here, so if I hold down Shift and I'll click one more time and then group, I should have both of them, and I do. So I'll go ahead and right click this and select Order and go to Back of Page. Changing layers is just fine. Next thing I want to do is bring some wings off of this barbed wire. And I'll do that simply by going to my brush tools again, artistic media, opening my folder. I'll come down into my feathered wings. I'm going to go to black here because we'll go off of black. That's why we've got a white outline on our barbed wire. And I'll come down here. I think I'll go with this brush. Let's take a look at this one. I like that brush, the way that's set up. That should be just fine. If I start going off this way, That'll give me the shape that I'm looking for. And so I'm going to click off here, go back to my artistic media tool. Let that bulldog's text go. Go back to my artistic media tool and just come in right about here with a brush stroke and start building my wings into my design. Now I want to play off of my bulldogs and off of the shape of my barbed wire with these wings, so I'm going to, these feathers, excuse me, and I'll bring this one right up here this way, and I'll start bringing these right down across here, out that way with another one, and just creating a really off the wall look here with these feathers, and then we'll bring this one off here, we'll bring another one off this way, bring one in here pretty much straight, and then we'll start arching these down here, changing direction, to match what's going on with our barbed wire. So we've got a nice cool setup with these wings here. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and just click my way through selecting all of them. And then I'll just click on order to back of page. Right click order and to back of page. Other layer, that's fine. We got all of them except for this one right here. I'll hit control Z and move that back. Right click order and to back of page. Select OK. 
Now, everything in this graphic is ungrouped, so I, when I set all that up, I know that this is all grouped, and I might want to group everything in the feathers here. So I'll just make sure I get all these selected, holding down Shift and clicking on each one of these feathers, get everything selected and group it so I can move it and mirror it. But I want to make sure I've got everything here before I do that. just want to move here. Do I have everything? I've got everything except for this feather here. And we'll move here. And I've got everything there, so we'll go ahead and select group. And I'll go ahead and move this over here. Hold down control, copy here, and then I'll go ahead and mirror that. I'll right click on that, order to back of page, other layer, that's fine. Move this in here. Now I know that all of this is grouped, so I'll take advantage of that to take the time to select everything that's in my baseball graphic and group that. So now I've got this off-the-wall wings and barbed wire look going on in this design. What I want to do is I set that up in a few minutes and that looks really cool. I want to go ahead and make some changes to that so we can see some of the benefits of these brushes. I'm going to bring this down here and just copy here. And now that I've set this up, I want to take a look at some of my different options because I've set these brushes up. I've really got options to work with. I'll go ahead and ungroup here. And this, that is all set up as barbed wire, take a look at what that's going to look like as thorns as opposed to barbed wire going around the outside. Take a look at a different effect. So I'll go to my artistic media. Once I've set these up as brushes, I can go ahead and mix them, match them, and swap them out all day long, create all kinds of looks from the same art almost instantaneously. I'm going to come down here to thorns. I'll select OK. And I'll come down here with that selected and click on, let's take a look at, let's say, Something like this here, let that process, a very different look with those thorns flowing through there. Do the same thing down here. Let's take a look at this particular thorn stroke. Very different look once again with the thorns being going down through there. Take a look at this thorn. Nice look there too. Very different look. Same thing with my wings if I want to. I could go through and swap those out and change what's going on with my designs very quickly and easily. So the power of brushes really gets me the power to design a lot of different looks and feels very quickly by changing things. Now, do I have everything in my feather selected there? Got all of them? Yep. Control Z. I'll go ahead and group those. We'll take a look at what this design will look like with some different feathers. I'm going to go back to my feathers here. Feathered wings, and I'll go to hand-drawn. Select OK, and we'll see what this will look like with some hand-drawn wings here. Go to the hand-drawn black, something like that there. Let that process. Now these are very complex, and you can see all the detail in there, but now there's an entirely different look with those hand-drawn feathers. And if I'm not happy with the size of that, I can come up here and go ahead and bring this down to, let's say, 0.55, and that'll change the size of the wings. So you can see that what we've done here, basically, is we've set up some ornaments and elements on our design, and we've been able to go through and customize, tweak, and change that almost instantaneously working with brushes. We've got a really off-the-wall look, and if I want to go ahead and set this up for a client and present this as an upsell or an optional design or just an idea design, you know, putting together these ideas for clients, they like to look at ideas like this quite often. I'll go ahead and group this, go to my fashion factory, and go ahead and go to my comps, page my way through some comps here. And we could put that on, say, this full back here. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Let all that process. Minimize my fashion factory. And there's my design. Now see, here's an instance where my brushes didn't scale with the size. Now that's because I did an auto sizing of my graphics. So when I auto size, even though I had scale with image turned on, it didn't work. So I'm going to hit Control Z. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. We'll go back. And what I'll do is, is, for the sake of the comp, I would just take this and convert it to a bitmap. Create a duplicate of it and convert it to a bitmap. Drop it on the comp that way. So I'll go ahead and select this over here. And that's one of the issues with brushes. When they do auto resizing, it doesn't um, resize your outlines, even though I had set scale with image. But I'll click off on this, and then I'm going to click back on it and see if it will work this time. Maybe I just didn't have it set up. I want this to set on to scale with image set on. It doesn't really want to accept that. Go ahead and duplicate this 
and select copy here and see if we got it that time or not and I don't think we did now we still got the really big outlines there so I'm gonna go ahead and hit control Z we'll go back I just want to see what this is going to look like on a t-shirt kind of off the wall design duplicate this copy here and we'll go to bitmaps convert to bitmaps I'm gonna select RGB transparent background select OK let that process and then I'll just take this and put it on top of my t-shirt and I'll be able to see what this design is going to look like or send a nice professional t-shirt comp to my client but we can see this comes out as a really off the wall type design now I would blur this just a little bit it needs to be softened up a bit and we view enhance or view enhance with overprints or I turn on anti-aliasing bitmaps and options but I'll go ahead and blur this blur Gaussian blur I want to go with just one pixel just to soften those edges, edges up. Select OK. And boy, that's a cool looking design with the feathers flowing into the shirt and around the design and everything. Go ahead and zoom in and take a close look at that. Nice design. Really pops off the shirt. Bulldogs is still there. The feathers look great and everything. So you can see working with these brushes, we can set up really insane off-the-wall designs really quickly, really easily. And everything flows with our design because we're working with brushes instead of clip art. So go ahead and wrap here on this session, and we'll continue in our next session with another design, working with brushes in CorelDRAW.